Hey, what's up everyone, Bennett Pro Fixer, and in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through how you can remove a broken headphone jack piece um, from the headphone jack port on um, realistically any kind of device without having to uh, open it up. We are gonna do a little bit of soldering. This technique is a little interesting, um, but I'm gonna show you all of that in the video today. Everything in my workbench is linked up in the description below, so be sure to check that out. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and hit the notification bell so you see all the newest videos when we release them. Without further ado, let's get started on removing the headphone jack broken piece stuck in this iPad. Here in front of me on the bench, I have this iPad and it has a broken headphone jack piece stuck in the little port here. Um, so there's a couple different techniques on how you can remove this. Uh, there is a pretty cool tool from iFixit where you can shove it in and it kind of pulls it out. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, there also is another technique where you can solder on a wire to the broken piece and then pull it out. So that's the technique I'm gonna show you today. Um, I'd actually started on this one just a little bit and added some solder to it, but I'm gonna show you some of the things here. So if we jump over to our microscope view, um, I wanna show you down inside of this headphone jack if I can and um, show you kind of what it looks like right now. So if we kind of zoom in there, yeah, you can see right inside there. Cool, so inside of the headphone jack itself, let me get that into uh, focus there for you. You can see the broken piece and you can actually see my little solder spike on there. Um, the headphone jack little end has a couple different uh, like shanks on it or whatever and they're covered by plastic, uh, but there's like a little pin in the middle and that's the one that you wanna solder to. So I got my smallest, it's uh, my ILS tip and um, let me put it over here so I can get it a little bit easier for you. You can see it. Um, and I'll show you what exactly it looks like. So this is my ILS tip. It's just a very small um, solder tip. So that is the one that we're going to be using today. And so what I did, I actually got my flux. You don't want to put too much flux in there. Um, but I got the flux and I just touched the end of the needle to the uh, end of the broken piece. And then I got a decent sized blob of solder on my iron. And then I did not use the microscope because at the angle that you're gonna have to get at, you're gonna be kind of weird in there. So you have to just kind of eyeball it and uh, make sure you don't touch the sides of the headphone jack. So kind of interesting. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more in here. So just take a little bit on your soldering iron, just like that. And then we are just going to eyeball it down in there. You wanna make sure that you don't touch anything else and that's very important. As long as you have enough flux on here, once you hold it down to uh, the end of the headphone jack, it should just put some solder on there pretty easily. So at this point, um, you may be able to see a little more solder than we had before. Um, I'm gonna try to show that to you now. Yeah, and you can see a little bit more solder in there. So kind of cool. And um, I guess the more we zoom in, it'll probably get pretty dark, but if we zoom out, you can kind of see that the middle there has the nice little spike on there. You can see like a little bit of a reflection. So at this point, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and um, take our little wire, which I've already kind of pretend this, and I hope it's not too small or too big. Um, one thing that really works um, good is if you have ethernet cable, you can pull the a strand of the ethernet cable and it's just so small and it's made of copper that solder, it solders very well and uh, that you can solder it up. But we're gonna use this little bit bigger wire here uh, because I don't have a strand of my uh, ethernet available. Um, but if you did have like a little six inch piece you could always use, it has a couple different strands and you can use them all. Um, so it'd be pretty cool. So what we're gonna do in this particular situation is want to hold it and it's got the case on here. So I'm gonna kind of pull this case off a little bit so I can get a little more room here because it has a little cover on there. Okay, cool. So now we want to go ahead and um, just line this up. And I'll kind of show you on here where you want to put it. So if we are right there, we essentially just want to, this is pretty big, um, we want to lay this next to it. So I'm gonna kind of bend it at an angle so you can, my hand doesn't get in the way. We just wanna set it next to it like this, next to that little solder nub that we put on there. And um, this already has a bunch of solder added to it already. So that's what you wanna do with your ethernet cable if you have it, um, or one of these, just add solder to both. And, um, and then you want to set it right next to your little solder nub. Once you've done that, you wanna bring your iron in just 
touch it for just a second and it'll melt both of them together. Um, so one thing you can do as well to make sure that it does solder well, add just a tiny bit of flux to the wire that you're inserting in there. So that way it kind of melts down onto the actual, um, onto the actual nub. So I'm gonna use this here and um, I'm sorry that I really can't show this to you because I don't have any way to really do that. We're gonna see if we can get this to solder on. And I think, nope, not quite yet. I'm going to try to add just a tiny bit of solder because I don't think there is quite enough in there. Cool. I think that should be good. Now at this point, and we'll be able to pull it out just like that. So it is a little bit tedious, um, a little bit weird, but if we take a look at this underneath the microscope, we can see um, where we're able to solder it on. And um, so if we just take a look at it like that, you can see that the little wire is soldered directly onto uh, the exposed end and it was able to pull it out. And now at this point, um, we haven't had to put any kind of glue in there. I feel this is much safer because even if you do burn the edge of the, uh, of the headphone jack just a tiny bit, um, it's still gonna be much better than adding glue in there, which could cover the contacts and you gotta try to clean that off. And so, um, you know, taking a look down in there, you really can't see because <laughs> it's kind of hard to, uh, to see anyway. Um, but um, but you can still see the two little contacts on the side, or at least I can from my view. I don't think you can from the camera view. Um, but everything looks great. Uh, there is a slight burn on the plastic on the top, um, but that is totally fine, and it's going to plug in just fine and work. Um, but this is how you remove the headphone jack from a broken iPad. So pretty interesting little thing here. And so uh, this video is right about you know 10 minutes long, eight minutes long. Um, so pretty um, decently quick as far as uh, doing that little process there. Um, and sure beats opening up the iPad as well because if you open the iPad, um, you could risk damaging the screen or you know compromising the seal when you put it back together. And it just makes it a whole long drawn up process. And so you know five, 10 minutes to do it this way um, with the soldering iron. Um, versus opening up the whole iPad and trying to push it out from the inside. Uh, this way usually wins, and this is why we always try first. Um, so I hope you liked this video and you can apply this into your repair shop. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If not, the other button works okay too. Um, and as well, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you see all the newest videos as we release them. But once again, my name is Ben Rosso, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.